Before we begin, this video is sponsored by my Patreon. Due to YouTube's ever inconsistent standards when it comes to demonetization and big companies like Rooster Teeth and Sony constantly putting false claims and strikes on my videos and my channel, it has become increasingly difficult for me to make money off of my videos. So if you're interested in supporting the channel, please check out my Patreon. Any donation helps out the channel and allows me to continue to make better content for you and each tier has all kinds of rewards so you're not just donating to support the channel you will also gain rewards and privileges so please check that out support the channel and let's begin hello dear viewers and sadly i have some bad news YouTube is at it again with its ever-growing stupidity. So, not too long ago, I decided to upload a AMV of the trap character Schrodinger just for fun. And about literally five minutes after I uploaded it, it was immediately taken down and they put a con- they put a community guideline strike on my channel for quote-unquote hate speech in massive quotations. However, how my video fits the qualifications of hate speech is beyond me considering it's literally just an AMV. The song did not promote hate speech, nor did the video itself do so. Please explain to me what is hateful about it. Actually, I know what it is. Because it was a character from Helsing, they got triggered by the fact that Schrodinger is a Nazi and decided to go full retard, as most people do whenever they see anything vaguely associated with the Nazis, and then take down my video, and now that I have a community guideline strike, I'm now forbidden from uploading for about seven days. Thanks, YouTube. The last time this happened to me, I was trying to do my Christmas special, The 12 Days of Death, and YouTube completely fucked it up. So, once again, thank you, YouTube. Your infinite stupidity and inability to do your job has screwed over yet another one of your content creators, and you wonder why you have content creators wanting to leave the platform because they're so sick and tired. Of this. Now, look, I'm not here trying to play the victim or anything. I honestly don't care, nor am I surprised that this has even happened. This has happened so many times at this point that I honestly just expect it because it's YouTube. If it's not some company trying to take down your video because you dare have an opinion on their content, then they're throwing a shit fit over tiny things that are just completely meaningless in the grand scheme of things. If we're being honest, YouTube is just a large corporate version of a Karen. That's all it is. YouTube is a Karen manifested by a corporation at the end of the day. And what I find annoying is the fact that this all happened because I dared show quote unquote Nazi imagery because that's the only conclusion I can come to, but please explain to me. How is slapping a rainbow filter over footage of a cat boy wearing a Nazi uniform pole dancing? What about that is hate speech? If anything, I'm mocking the Nazi flag because I decided to slap a filter of something that represents something that the Nazis could not stand, i.e. LGBT people. It's well known that Hitler wasn't exactly a big fan of those type of people, and logically, if the Nazis were around today, they would probably be really pissed off by me doing that to their flag. But even with all, any of that being said, even if you're just gonna say, well, showing any kind of symbol that's associated with the Nazis is automatically hate speech. Okay, 
I hate to be Captain Obvious here, but I don't know if you sensitive Puritan morons understand this, but uh, the Nazis, they're dead. Adolf Hitler is gone, his entire army is gone, the Nazi party has been completely dismantled, gone, there's not a single Nazi around today, and if there is, they're like 90 years old and probably suffering from Alzheimer's right now. They have no power and they are no threat to anyone. And what's even more frustrating is when you do stupid shit like try to censor things associated with the Nazis, what you do is make it more intriguing to people. Have you morons never heard of the Streisand effect? When will you people learn that all you do when you try to censor something is just cause the Streisand effect? Like, did you not learn your lesson with the Joker or any other instance when you try to censor something and then you make it more interesting to those types of people? Because human beings are naturally curious. If you keep telling someone, you can't see this, you can't look at this, inevitably they're going to get more curious. Okay, symbols and words is, and flags only have as much power as we give to them. If you keep trying to ban anything Nazi related and be, like burn books or whatever stupid crap you want to do, all you do is make people more curious to look into their ideas, wanting to know why is this considered so bad. If anything, censorship is a fascist concept. And what you're doing is not that much different from what the Nazis did. They destroyed statues, they censored people, they burned books. Like that was like a big thing about them. So really, all you're doing is just trying to silence me and infringe on my freedom of speech and my freedom of expression. Also, when you really think about it, it's even dumber that you want to ban so-called Nazi symbols because it's well known that the infamous swastika is actually just the Buddhist symbol tilted at a slightly 45 degree angle. That's all it is. and. Buddhism is infamous for being, you know, a religion of peace, Buddhist kind of hate violence and all that kind of stuff. So you're banning a symbol that the Nazis stole from a peaceful religion, and the Iron Cross is not a Nazi symbol. And this is extremely enraging because it shows how ignorant people are of my culture of Germany. I don't know if you idiots understand this, but the Iron Cross is actually just the symbol of our military. The Iron Cross existed well before the Nazis ever came into existence, and it's still used to this day. If you did a little bit of research and tried to understand a thing or two about German culture, which I thought you people claimed, oh, we love cultural enrichment, we don't want to be closed-minded, yet you're too stupid to do five seconds of research to understand that the Iron Cross is just the symbol of my people's military. But, oh wait, I forgot, YouTube doesn't give a damn about context. They don't give a damn about the truth. They just want to censor anything that they find offensive because they're a bunch of fascist Puritans that just want to silence people and they're turning YouTube into essentially what amounts to a far left platform because anyone who goes against YouTube's politics or CNN's politics or Hillary Clinton's politics ends up getting banned. And it's funny because anyone who's on the left in any capacity they can straight up advocate for violence and nobody will give a damn. Do you know how many communist videos I see of ANCOMs cl claiming they're gonna line up ANCAPs against the wall and put a bullet in our head? Way too many times. But that's not okay. 
but yet YouTube doesn't care because, according to YouTube, you can't preach about violence unless, of course, you're a commie that supports their bullcrap agenda. But if you're PewDiePie, then they're constantly trying to tear him down or say he's a Nazi or whatever other stupid nonsense. Logan Paul can straight up upload footage of a dead body in the suicide forest and YouTube won't bat an eye and he will receive no consequences for his actions. In fact, what he will receive is a spike in subscribers. Because YouTube is broken. Now look, I'm not saying you can't be offended by Nazi imagery. You're free to do so. However, your offense does not dictate me being censored. Okay, my rights don't end where your feelings begin. Okay, that's not how this works. And again, think about this. All of this over a cat boy. A cat boy resulted in this. That is how sensitive people are nowadays. People are so obsessed with being politically correct that I can't even upload an AMV just for fun of a f***ing cat boy all just because people get offended if they see an iron cross or a swastika. Who gives a flying fuck? Okay, honestly, if you get offended at Nazi symbolism or anime characters where we have cat boys wearing Nazi uniforms, then you need to seriously reevaluate your life. For Christ's sake, there are people in third world countries starving to death, being butchered, or being enslaved. And what is people in the first world country bitching about? Cat boys wearing Nazi uniforms. I guess that's it. The Fourth Reich will be led by Schwedinger. Really let all that sink in. But anyway, with all that out of the way, I'm sorry that this happened. I expected YouTube to do something stupid, but I didn't expect them to throw a community guideline strike at me. I thought worst case scenario, they would just demonetize the video or block the video worldwide. However, I underestimated YouTube, sadly. So what I want to say is, please subscribe to my backup channel. Thankfully, I do have a backup channel because I am smarter than YouTube. And please subscribe to that channel. And if you want to see the video that got me a strike and YouTube is now trying to silence me with, I have uploaded it to both my Bitchu and my bit tubers so if you want to check out the band video that got me a strike please feel free it'll be uploaded there because i am not going to be silenced youtube if anything all you did was open up a can of worms because now people are going to want to know what the video was that got me silenced, and guess what? All you're going to do is rally more people to support me, just like what happened with the Joker movie. So really, YouTube, all this is doing is just backfiring on you. It makes you look like a bunch of fascist, overly sensitive pussies, and it makes me look edgy, cool, and people are gonna wanna support me more because I believe that people should be able to say and post whatever the hell they want so long as they're not advocating for people's death or trying to hurt people. So really YouTube, all this is going to do is backfire on you. And if you think you can silence me, well, it's not ever going to work. Like I said, I'm not a victim. I'll gladly fight back against your bullshit like I've been doing for years. But once again, Please subscribe to my backup channel. I probably should have uploaded a video a long time ago mentioning my backup channel so more people would subscribe to it. But if you do like my channel, please subscribe to my backup channel. I'll re-upload more of my videos on that channel. I've been meaning to get around to it. And if you want to 
support me, please go check out my Patreon or my merch store. It helps me out and I'll be able to use that support to continue to fight back against YouTube and grow my brand. I'm really sorry about this. I know it sucks. And you could probably say this is partially my fault because deep down inside, I knew YouTube would probably do something stupid because they did something very similar to ER Senpai where in his review of Steven Universe, he had a joke at the end where he put footage of a Hitler speech and it was funny, but YouTube sadly took the video down and put a strike on ER. So you could say that I'm a moron and I should have known better, and you may very well be right, but at the end of the day, it was all in the name of good fun. And if all it takes is to just show out of context footage of any kind of Nazi imagery, then that's just kind of sad. Really think about the world we live in, where all it takes is footage of a cat boy wearing a Nazi uniform, and you will be silenced really let that sink in. But I will say this, I am going to be live streaming with my little brother again tomorrow, and sadly I'm gonna have to probably host it on my backup channel because YouTube isn't going to let me do any live streams, upload any community posts, or any videos. So if you want to watch that stream, please either join my Discord so you can follow what's going on behind the scenes and subscribe to my backup channel. I'm sincerely sorry about this. All I want to do is just entertain you guys, but YouTube and other companies like Rooster Teeth and Sony seem to be hell-bent on trying to silence me. But that's all I have to say. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think that I'm an idiot and I deserve what's coming to me? Or do you think that YouTube is once again being unfair and just trying to silence people because I dare be edgy and disagree with YouTube? Let me know and I'll see you guys tomorrow once again. I can't stress this enough. If you want to still see my content that I upload over the next seven days, please go to my backup account. I cannot stress that enough. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.